power outages, damaged homes, closed streets. The city of Eden got the worst of it during this weekend's storms. The cleanup, it still extends into the start of this work week. WFMY News 2's Hannah Jeffries checked in on some residents whose homes were damaged by the storm. It was a weekend storm. About that time, something so loud. 75 year old Hallie Thompson says she's never experienced before. Like a bomb went off. And I was like, what is that? <laughs> Crews are cutting up the tree that fell straight into Thompson's home Saturday night. When I looked out my back door, I could see the leaves and the limbs, you know, waving in my back door window. And I was like, oh God. In shock, Thompson grabbed her phone and called her neighbor, Ruth Bonds. She said, do you see the tree that's on the top of my house? Who had a situation of her own. I said, I can't see the tree that's on the top of your house because of the tree that's in the front of my house. <laughs> this large tree that stretches across her yard was blocking the door, keeping Bonds stuck inside. Eden Street Superintendent Darren Gatewood says they weren't expecting the thunderstorm to cause this much damage. Next thing you know, we had strong winds, hail, phone starts ringing, they got trees down everywhere. <laughs> He warns intense summer storms will come again and encourages residents to be prepared. Assess your trees. If you got any dead limbs or anything, get them removed. While straight line winds most likely caused this mess, Thompson is just happy to know no one was hurt. All I know was it terrorized Eden. And we thank God once again for his grace and his mercy. Yeah, we're so glad that all of them are OK. Gatewood says crews worked yesterday and today clearing several streets for drivers. He says all streets should be reopened by tomorrow.